Hello, people. How's it going? Yep, I'm back again. Bad Penny! Da -da -da. Anyway, I figured I'd check up and see how people did. If everybody made it through the holidays okay, or at least as close to okay as they get. See if y'all got everything you wanted on your Christmas wish list. I know not all of us do. It just, that's the way it is. I mean, you know, world peace is a big thing for Santa to try and carry around. Anyway, I figured I'd see how everybody was doing. And play with some of my homemade colors some more. Play with some other stuff while I'm at it, just because. La 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 Gonna play, gonna play, gonna play. And then in a little while, I've got company coming. Company coming. There's a few people in my little town who thought the idea of starting a writer's group would be kind of interesting. And I had put a suggestion up about it, figuring, what the heck, hang out with some writers, do some stuff, talk about books, share the love, talk about writing and getting, getting caught in things, and form a critique circle and that kind of stuff. And then the car died. And some of the people in this little bitty burg got a little P.O. Because with the car dead and all that stuff, I kind of let the idea drop a little bit. But somebody else picked it up and was working on running with it. And I'm going, cool. This is what it needs to be, not just one person. And she got farther than I did. She's lived here a lot longer, so she knows more people. Little things like she talked to a couple of the local restaurants to see if we could make arrangements that as long as we were buying coffee and drinks and snacks and stuff while we were there could we sit in their place for an hour or two during slack time and that was good and she's talking to the library but you know no snacks in the library kind of a, a bummer if you're going to be there a while but you know we're working on it. But since I can't get there very easily. And yeah, there's a taxi in town. But it's a little spendy just to go to a book club meeting. So I was going, you know, I'll get there when I get there. Once the weather gets better and I get back to walking again. One of the locations is just a tiny bit farther than my usual walking distance once I've gotten pretty good. And I'm going, okay, I only have to go another block. I can work up to it. Or with any luck, we'll have a car <laughs> eventually again. 
So, you know, what the heck? I wasn't worried about it. Well, a couple of the people that wanted to get this thing done got all upset because we ain't getting it done. Fast enough to see them. And I'm like, look, y'all is grown ass people. You can, you can like put this together and I'll get there when I get there. It's like, you're not like making me mad taking over or something. It's not a big deal. Well, apparently a few of them think it is a big deal. And I'm like, party on, dudes. Think what you want. Think it all you want. Go ahead with your bad self. Go be contrary. And have yourself already dead. Not my day to worry about it. You ever had one of those days where you just wanted to look at somebody and go shush? Just shh. Because they're making absolutely no sense and arguing about something that, that is not really arguable. You know? It's like, it's not a deal. It's not a deal breaker. It's not a deal maker. It's just, just go on about. Go ye therefore and do, you know. Pick a point, run with it. Yeah, since I've got this new friend coming over. Because he said unto me, he said that he doesn't have a car either, but he's more than happy to walk the little distance from his house to our house just to have a chance to sit down and talk to somebody else who is a writer and maybe you know, do some writing sprints and that kind of thing. And then he said that, you know, just got through divorce and most of the friends decided they were her friends. So he's trying to make some new friends and I'm going, hey, hey good, come on, come on over. We can do this. Ain't nothing but a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. I'm going, yeah, we can do this. This is not a big deal. It really isn't. We can get this done and go on about it. Just about like we think we know what we're doing. So he's coming over today and we're going to set up our laptops and sit around and yak. And people get to know everybody else. And, you know, I'm just fine with all that. There is no reason to get nuts. It's like obviously some of the people here think that we're trying to create a huge art colony or something. We need organization. Plan. Venues. They actually started calling it a venue. I'm like, dude, we just need some place to squat and cop a, you know, cop a coffee. Venue. 
Anyway, so that's happening. And a couple of days ago, just before the holiday hit, got a call from the from the college from my advisor and she says to me she says you know you're starting to run down to short time here and I said yup and she says during you don't have to do it this class because this is the fourth one from the end but once I get to the third from the end, I have to decide whether I'm going to do it on that class or the next one. Or wait until the very last class, but I have to do it before the end of the very last class. And that is, I have to petition to graduate. And I have to petition to graduate before the end of that last class. And I'm going, oh, in that passion. Now, I got to tell you, I've been doing this a long time. A lot of years because I'm only I only do a few classes at a time because I can't handle doing more so I've been at this in terms of many more years than it would normally take if it was somebody going to school full-time So yes, these are all homemade colors. This one's one of my favorites. It's just gorgeous. And then I'm looking at it going, oh, look, there's the form. I have found the form. There's a form online. And then I looked and said, oh, look, there's a graduation fee. <laughs> Basically, it's for doing things like assembling your transcript properly and doing all of your paperwork to certify everything and all that hoop for do. And I'm going... Oh, joy! And then I also have to make sure before I get all of the things like the transcript and, and the certificate and all that. Because with, with being online, some of the initial stuff that you get, they, they ship online so you can print it off and hang it up to start until the fancy pieces get there and there's no way in ooh, 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 that I'm going to be able to afford to fly to southern New Hampshire to walk for commencement just it's a long trip. I don't do long trips that well. And it's a lot of money that I ain't got. Imagine that. And
but I definitely I'm going to take pictures of me with my certificate and I may actually go ahead and get the cap and gown even though it's just going to hang in the closet. I started looking at the fancy frames that you can get from the school bookstore. The ones that come with like the uh, school's insignia and all that stuff. Mother love a duck. Those things are expensive. The least expensive one is 145 and I'm going, yeah, I'll go over to Dollar Tree and get me a certificate hanger. Mm -hmm. Kind of like with my International English Honor Society stuff. I'll just go over there and get it. <laughs> just because I'm that kind of cheap. Well, more like I'm that kind of broke, but hey. Living on disability sucks. And even though I'm doing that side hustle with doing the fancy journals and all that stuff, it takes a while before people start noticing them. So, you know, you don't get really, really, really fast responses on this stuff. It does take a while. Which is why I got started when I did, because I'm like, okay, let's see if I can get, get started and be looking at stuff for next year. So, we will see how that works out. So, that's not something that's going to happen real quick. I have to send in that 150 bucks. And then I have to make sure that anything that the federal student loans, God help me, didn't pay for that's owed to the school has to be paid off before I get stuff. And, you know, it's going to take me a minute. But I will be finished. And it's actually kind of terrifying. <laughs> This is something I never thought I would be able to do. There's a bunch of other people in my family who thought I would never be able to do this. Unfortunately, most of them have already passed on, which means I can't go nanny boo boo right up in their face. Like my mom. I started looking at some of the classes that they did in high school for advanced placement that I could do to get ahead, get a head start on my college stuff. And she wouldn't sign off on it. Because she said I was never going to college. And I'm like, why not? I know you and the old man ain't got, like, loads of bucks. I'm not expecting you to, you know, pay full-time. Freight on this or anything. Why aren't I going to college? Everybody else I hang out with is going to college. I was not overly thrilled with her concept of why I wasn't going. Pardon me. 
Alrighty then. Yeah, nobody needs to see me clear my speechways. <laughs> That's rude. Anyway. Hi, I'm back. I have tried. While I was off for just a minute there. I have tried three different brown pencils. And my lower water line is simply not having it. Just, we ain't got this, we ain't getting this. It's like, just give it up. It's done. Not having it. That little fuzzies on the end of my brow pencil. I don't need little fuzzies on the end of my brow pencil. Except these little fuzzies. And I'm still using the Elf Lash and Brow Serum, which I find is doing pretty well. Now, I will admit that the Legrand that I got out of one of the boxes. Really good stuff. Really worked. But, dude, I'm not coughing up 65 bucks for a little tube of eye eyelash serum. I'm not doing it. I ain't got 65 bucks for that one little tube of eyelash serum. I ain't gonna have 65 bucks for that stuff. It's just, no. I don't got it. It's like, okay, yeah, it works, but so does the elf. Maybe not as splashy a big deal and all that stuff but I'm good with it I'm good with it take this little clip and do this to get that out of the way yeah I know I need to give it a little refresh rinse now uh, this one is cover girl clean fresh skin milk in porcelain number 510 and it is a little bit on the runny side but that's okay it's not supposed to be lots and lots of coverage So I'm just slapping this stuff on. Not even so much because I've got company coming, but because I wanted to talk to you guys. And if I'm not doing something like this while I'm talking to you guys, I kind of don't have all of my excuses to talk to you guys. Now, when I did... The homemade colors one just recently and was talking about doing with my grandchildren who had a lovely time and were thrilled once I got the little magnetic palettes in to put their stuff in and are having a wonderful time with their stuff. And their mama liked the look of it. So everybody was all happy and hunky and dory. But I got a question. I did, I did. I got a question from Miss Laura Goldstar. Hi, Laura!
And she asked how I feel about using commercial stuff when I can make my own. And it's like, it's not so much that I can make my own. The commercial stuff, it's like, believe me, I like playing with the stuff. But I do not have the world's best equipment or additive formula. I don't have all of the same kind of things that the commercial people have that they can put in it to make the formula work really nice and do specific things and all that. I just don't. I use fractionated coconut oil. That is all of the oil I use. A couple, three drops in with the pigment powder. And then I use some basic isopropyl alcohol to turn it into a slurry and help get the oil distributed through the pigment. And then I put it in the little pan and start working on it to get some of the alcohol out. And once it's just a little bit damp with most of the alcohol out, with the pigment pretty even across the pan, I take a little thing. I've got the little um, acrylic pressers. It's like about this thick and it's got a little knob on the top and it fits right into the little pan. You have to order the right one for the size pan you're using. They're dirt cheap. But that's it. There is no great horking amount of other stuff that I'm doing. Ready? what are you doing? Hi, baby. Whoa. The grand boy has come to visit. Yes, he has. It's rain boring. You're silly. You're my silly boy. You're my silly boy. Are oh. you being cute? Yeah. You are being cute. I love being cute. <laughs> Daddy. It's just a little blusher, a little bronzer, you won't notice. You are welcome to visit. You are silly. You are so cool, you didn't say notice. <laughs> I love it, it's so notice. He is so cute. Put a little bronzer on. Pretend like it's a little contour. Bronzer. 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 Yes, Rennie, it was a bronzer. Oh, nifty green brushes. New set. New set. Yes, in case you can't tell. My grandson is a parrot. Yes, yeah, so parrot. So parrot. Me too, Granny. Honey, I said that was you. <laughs> you don't have to me to it. It has to me to it. Me to it. Me too. I mean, me too, Granny. You're being so silly. You're so silly. Are you my parrot boy? You're my pay boy! <laughs> Cutest kid on the planet, I tell you. Planet, I tell you! Wee! 
باي واحد What you doing, bub? For strawberry juice. What? Raspberry. That's a, that's something to put in water to make it taste good. Put it in the water to taste good. Uh huh. Why it's so a... that I don't get bored drinking lots of water. He uses a laser jet as well. It's a water. Believe it or not, this is good communication for this kid. Yeah, for a kid. He's had a few issues, issues. over the years. Boy, but he's doing he pretty good today. It's so good today. Good today. Did you have fun at Christmas? Yeah. Now get Did lipstick. you have fun looking at the snow? I'm not ready for lipstick. I'm not finished with the other stuff first. I gotta finish with the other stuff first. Finish the stuffy first? Yes, finish the stuffy first. Okay, Grady. I'm not lipstick. ready for lipstick, Squirt. Big mouth. Woo! You're gonna get in trouble. You're gonna get in trouble. I'll pop you on the nose. Tell you you're a little monster. You're not a little monster. You're the little monster. You're not a monster. You're a monster. Not monster. Yes, monster. Oh, boy. Silly boy. Yep. Yes, elf. That's not elf. That one's made by a company called Kiss. Yeah, called Kiss. Alrighty. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Doodly do. What's that mean? It is on camera. Okay, this is Elf. Matter of fact, all of the stuff I've put on since I put on the Cover Girl is all Elf. Elf. Favorite stuff. Elf, 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 elf. Elf is a sign. <laughs> All right, now he's trying for a sponsorship. You are must as yet. I did this. I did this. It's very boring. But I pee. Yeah, this is this is just called illuminating. I don't know what he just said. <laughs> Meanwhile. Meanwhile. Put a little bit here and there. It's got a nice glow, but it's fairly subtle. Which I find nice when I'm trying to do low key. Because I'd also I also brush it along under here to kind of glow up the under brow space 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 the final frontier. Be good. Why would I want to be good? Oh, you want my colors? Okay. Why would I want to be good, little man? You're being good, little man. Okay, let's see what I'm going to put there. That one. That one! That one. Just that is the barely answer. touch up here. Little, oh, little bit of glitter. Who the heck is it? It is a heck of a little cute. Asher? Huh? What the heck did you say? <laughs> Sorry. I have no idea what you said there, little man. Ooh. What was that noise? You know, it's a little 
You're being silly. You're being silly, Kitty Grandy. This is not to be bad. More than likely, since it's still fairly early in the morning, he's looking for something that that sounds a lot like breaking the fast. Breaking the fast! If I say it the other way, he'll like immediately jump up and start looking for food in my room. You're just in my room. He's a really, it just says it's in my room. You are a silly boy. Yeah, I'm You're my silly baby. Silly baby. Silly baby. This is silly, could be dad. Mm hmm. Yeah. What does dad have to do with any of this? You still do anything, this. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, you want the colors? Okay. Now I've got pink. I don't want to do the pink. Now get green. But I use it as so green, of course. I still have a, no idea what he said. <laughs> No, you don't drink my coffee. You drink my coffee, we're going to have to have an argument. You, you're not argument. I will if you drink my coffee. Excuse me. Besides, you're not supposed to have coffee yet. Really? Really? She's not kidding. You have said it, so do it. Do, 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 do. Now get green. So we had a blast for Christmas. Even had a white Christmas. <clears throat> He's trying to get Christmas to come back again in a hurry. Yeah, so Christmas. He started saying Merry Christmas days before him. No, I like it's a rainbow circle. I like it, some circle. You're very silly. Sorry. What are you messing with, little man? Little man. Little man. Just a little bit. You're the little man. Well, some days he's the little man. She's not the little bit the little man, Grindy. Not that color. Yes, he may. Some days, especially when he's being uppity with that headband on, he declares himself princess. But he still says he's a boy child, so we'll let him figure it out as we go. Where you go? But, dude, this child likes bright colors. You spring covers? Bright colors. Do, 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 do. Now get green. I just put on green. Now use pink. I don't want to use pink. Pretty. What? 
She said, it's okay. I don't want to use the pink. That's not what I'm doing today. I'm not doing pink today. Raspberry juice. He has grabbed up my fake Mio. Fake Mio. Uh, one of them is black cherry, black with, the cherry? with the energy vitamins in it. Yeah, black cherry. Pretty. And one of them is raspberry lemonade. Lemonade. It's a lemonade. Yay, yay, lemonade. Ta -da. We did it, Grindy. Good job. <laughs> Anyway, apparently the little man thinks I did just fine. He just fine. You are such a little goober. You so goopy. Do you know what goober means, little man? What's that mean? What does it say here? Uh -huh. He's tapping the camera, so it might jiggle a bit. Goober is an old nickname for peanuts. 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 Yeah, peanuts. If you want peanut stuff, you need to go see the other grandma. No, she's not peanuts. She's the one that's got the peanut stuff. Peanut stuff. You know, she should have the peanut butter and jelly type. Quit. Don't shake the camera. That's rude. Stop. Don't mess with my camera. I will get you. No way, Grandy. I will get you. <laughs> there will be getting got. He's so getting got. Yes, there will be getting got. He's what do so you think of that? Yeah, I'm thinking of camera. Oh, you got lipstick? Okay. Now we're going to lipstick. Perfect. This one is Elf. It's elf. called Cheeky. Cheeky. <clears throat> then again, the blusher that I put on is always Cheeky. Yes, Cheeky. You're so Cheeky. You've got lipstick. I'll be right back. Keep in his little eyes. Okay? He is the cutest thing. And yes, if you're wondering, he is on spectrum. He is a spectrum child. We weren't sure he was ever going to talk at all. He was so determined not to make any effort with it. <clears throat> Doesn't look too bad, does it? I'll probably put some earrings and stuff on it in a little while. Anyway, there it is. Played with the homemade stuff. There we go. Played with the homemade stuff. Had a lovely time. Had a wonderful time talking to y'all. Let me know how you... How y'all did for the first run of the holiday marathon that started on Christmas. Get... The holiday marathon gets to be a little much sometimes. In some cases, I'm very happy that we have at least 
partial lockdowns because of Omicron. But that's mainly because, believe it or not, I'm an introvert. I can work with this. I mean, it's just talking to one camera. One camera? My parrot is back. Anyway, I'm about finished with college. I'm still like going, what am I going to do with the extra time? Uh, writing your books. Get ready. Um, so let's see, what else? No, it's not time to say goodbye yet. I'm working on it. I got to get there first. <laughs> what? It's okay. What? Just not sorry. Uh-huh. Just not sorry, huh? You just as so cute ever. Uh-huh. Yes, you are. You're just as cute as ever. Well, Kimmer, thanks for watching. It is just so it is so cool. Anyway. And the talk is all later. <laughs> I give up. Bye!